today we are reviewing the film called Hush. Shh. Written and directed by Mike Flanagan, and also starring his wife, Kate Siegel. Now you may know Mike Flanagan if you know the film Oculus. A lot of people like it, a lot of people don't. I kind of stand towards the side that does not like Oculus. Let's see, with Hush, you have a simplistic story about a woman who is deaf and muted and she lives in the woods all alone and is attacked by a creepy guy in a mask. What makes this different is that the lead character uh, played by Kate Siegel because she's deaf and because she's mute it kinda introduces elements that we haven't seen before in uh, the home invasion slasher genre. Now something that kind of bothered me and it may not bother a lot of other people is the simple notion of that the mask that the killer is wearing in the poster is there in the film but not very long he ends up just taking it off it's supposed to make him seem scarier than when he was wearing the mask but for me it just seemed kind of dumb it loses the value I just look at him as being just this crazy guy who's trying to kill her and I don't kind of get that fear that I had when he wore the mask and it kind of makes me think maybe they added that mask or maybe the idea was to wear the mask promotional use of marketing task or whatever you want to call it so that way they have this creepy mask in the poster and a creepy mask you know in the trailer but the tension is there with the cat and mouse game that the killer plays with Maddie throughout the film. Um, it's very creative in, in certain spots. And you can see where Mike Flanagan is getting better from Oculus to this movie. He's, he's getting there. He's not quite all the way there. Because this movie, while it is, you know, a decent slasher home invasion kind of film with uh, a little bit of a twist there about you know Maddie kind of having disabilities it's also kind of just standard I think is the word for it or average if you want to call it that at times it dragged just a little bit but it's a solid effort by Mike Flanagan I think he's definitely stepping it up I think if you have Netflix this is easily worth a watch if you don't have Netflix I wouldn't really recommend spending maybe you know three dollars for this as a rental. Hush gets a 6 out of 10. Like I said, if they would have tightened it up, maybe in the middle, just add a little more thrilling effects, a few more kills, a little more, you know, violence, it would have been spot on and it would have probably hit a 8 or 9 on my scale. Anyway guys, that's it for this review on Hush. 
Let me know what you think down in the comment section if you have watched this or if you plan on watching it on Netflix. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this. If you were stuck out in the woods with a killer outside, how would you get out of the house? How would you get out of this situation? Leave it down in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching and until next time, peace. you know, human side and that it's supposed to make him scarier. Scarier? It's supposed to make him scary. More scary.